Okay. Yeah. Uh, great to have you on, my brother. Uh, and I hadn't, I hadn't talked to you in a while, but I've been following you for sure. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know, if, you know, if I ever told you, man, but I think you have always exhibited that that entrepreneurial uh, rapper mindset, man, where this is a business and you treat it like a business. And so I've, I've always respected that about you. And I think that to me, that's what gives you or has given you your longevity, bro. Right, right. Mm -hmm. right. So uh, let me start from the beginning well not really the beginning but i guess the beginning as far as uh your big break so what was your big break in uh music i mean you know uh it, it depends on what your definition of a, a big break was for me you know uh signing the deal was a big break so okay. uh I, my first big break was signing with little troy uh at shortstop records okay uh, how did that come about? Uh, well, that came about because uh, I uh, fuck man, I I I I I I, I had somebody that was writing some hot checks in my name. Oh wow! And, uh, and so they would pop up randomly every yeah. now and then, and I yeah. go to jail for you know for nothing. <laughs> and uh, and uh. On, on one of these particular terms, I met I met a guy named MRC, who in turn introduced me to to a guy named Bruce Rhodes, who was little little little, little Troy's producer. Okay. And so at that, you know, it was that that was it. You know, he he had a couple of other guys that he could have signed, but he ended, he ended up signing me. Okay. And uh, and so that was my first, you know, you know, big opportunity. You know, you, you know what I mean. As a yeah. rapper, like, I had to deal, you know, Troy took care of me pretty, you know, pretty good. And of course, he was independent. We didn't fully know what we was doing, and this was way before "Want to Be a Baller." Wow, was it? I had yeah. no clue. Oh yeah, this way before "Want to Be a Baller," bro. So, I I don't know if you know, but I interned for Little Troy before I hooked up with uh, Dope House. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's you know, I guess Tootie saw that on my resume, and he, you know, brought me over. But, yeah, I was with Lil Troy by, and this was when they were all mine entertainment group, because Lil Troy had did a little little stint, I guess, and, and it, it was all mine. So it was like the uh, the marketing arm for uh, shortstop records. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Right. But it, it right. Had, right. Yeah, so right. yeah, yeah, yeah. KB, he had KB at the time, mm -hmm. and a couple other guys. Yeah, uh, Big Hawk was the the big one. He had Hawk when I was there. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. As far as marketing, he did, you know, marketing Hawk, and he had a, a, a Young Star was another one because we, yeah, we had, yeah. You know, Young Star at that time. But yeah, no, I just yeah, that was uh, I didn't know that that's where you got your start. That's amazing. Yep, 1993, 94. I okay. just got out of jail. So, wow. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Yep, yep. Lil Troy, man. So that was, you know, I would consider that. I would give him credit for being my first big break, you know. Shout out to Lil Troy, man. You know. For sure. For sure. That's my dog right there, man. Absolutely. So let me ask you this. So this is a financial channel, so I want to get – uh uh, your take on a couple of things growing up uh, what was your financial base like so and when I what I mean is like were you taught financial principles of wealth building or, or about the importance of being your own boss and stuff like well, that? well it's a gift and a curse because I, it's hard for me to work for anybody but man yes I was man my father uh R.I.P. Uh, Alfonso Sally, brother Latif. A lot of people know him as brother brother Latif. Yep. Uh, uh, he he was he 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 taught me to be independent all my life. Okay. He taught me how to hustle, be independent all all my life. So yeah, I was taught that. Uh, as far as you know, coming up in the music and you know applying it a hundred percent, I can't say that I did that, but. Of course, through example, I mean, mm -hmm. no, not, yeah, example, people say, hey, man, you know, you blah, 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 you know, blah, blah, blah. So, so, you know, so, uh, so obviously, you know, you know what I mean? You're not yeah. doing like, 
right thing with it, you know? For sure. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's yeah. what's up. And I think that's something that a lot more uh, households, dads should should express to their children, man, the importance of being your own boss and, and, and having your own thing as opposed to just getting a job and working for somebody, man. Those lessons, man, carry you real far. And, and don't get me wrong, I've had my, you know, I've had my share of jobs. For sure. You know, I, uh, for sure. You know, I, you know, my homeboy Sergio, you know, he's a friend of ours. I work for him picking yeah. up, the, you know, picking up dog shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> already, already. So have, have you ever looked at rapping? And I, I think I know the answer, but have you ever looked at rapping as your own business or being an entrepreneur? I mean, is that how you see it? I mean, basically, that's, I, you know, uh, I would consider myself as an entrepreneur yeah. in the rap business. You know, I create brands. Mm -hmm. I create the music. I put yeah. it out under my brand, 21st yeah. Century Dynasty, you know. Yes, uh, uh, I do my concerts, you know, under my Sunidium, Rashid, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But as a businessman, Alfonso Cook, mm -hmm. you know, uh, that's the guy that has to handle all of the issues for Rashid to function as an artist and a businessman. So do I consider myself uh, an entrepreneur, Alfonso Cook? Yes, I do. Do I consider myself the best entrepreneur? Uh, I'm still working on that. But 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 point is, I'm still working. You know Absolutely. What I mean? Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. So is there anything else that you wanted to do growing up besides being an artist? Well, you know, it's funny because uh I mean, well, I'm gonna be honest with you. I actually I'm gonna go way back even before the before the what I was about to say. Yeah. Before computers was even big, or I don't know, I don't know what it was, but I know I wanted to be a computer architect. Okay. I told my yeah, I told my dad that one day, but uh, you know, of course, you know, I dropped out in the 10th grade, so I never made that goal. But you know, and things so complicated with tech, but you know, right now, but for that age, for me to want to be something like that, you know, it's like, damn, a computer architect, damn, what the hell? But, you know, it hadn't <laughs> even been thought of yet. You know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, man. So, hey, so uh, that showed but, your out of, out of the box thinking way back then. Way back then, bro. Mm. Way back then, bro. A, a lot of stuff, you know. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. which you know, it's like, okay, all right, you know, I. You know, hey, that's back then. So, you know, but uh, and then uh, you know, in the beginning, like we got a guy now. Uh, you know, he's a young guy. He want to be a stunt man. Well, he's being a stunt man according to him. You know, mm -hmm. but all of the all of the social media is, you know, whatever you say you are, that's what you are. But absolutely, uh, he, he, he does little stunts. So yeah, at one point in my life, I wanted to be a, a stunt man. Okay. Know? Yeah, yeah, stunt man, and uh, of course I wanted to get in the movies and the acting. And uh, technically, you know, I am into that. You know, uh -huh. uh, done our own independent okay you know, films, but 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 I, I also remember. worked as an employee doing background at Netflix. Oh, really? Oh, so, yeah. So I, so I show up for like nine, ten seconds in uh, Army of the Dead and News of the World. You know, nothing major. Yeah, major yeah. Film. Oh, but you know, I don't have like no major parts in that. Right. You know? No, you know? that's that's cool, man. Yeah, yeah. So about those three things, acting and uh 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 acting and the uh, stunt man and the computer architect, those are things that you know I think that I, I wanted to be. So yeah. you know, yeah, you know, of course things change over time, but absolutely younger years, that's what I want that's what I wanted to be. That's yeah. what I wanted. I remember wanting to be a psychologist. I wanted to be. I wanted to be a uh, a gynecologist at one point because I, I like Bill Cosby. I wanted to be a psychologist. Yeah, man, things change, brother. Uh, so Sheedy, we met back in two thousand and one when we first met. I mean, we we've had relationships since then, but we met back in two thousand and one when I started working for Dope House. Absolutely. And you were an artist there. Absolutely. So, and like you said, you go all the way back to 93 with Lil Troy. Yes. So, yes. So my question is, how have you been able to sustain so long in a game where, where rappers come and go, you know, like like old news, man? You know, like like prison, 
Uh, you know, too many of them go to prison. Uh, too many of them are getting killed off at young ages, man. And and then a lot of them just don't want to put in the work. Like, like, how have you been able to sustain for so long, bro? Well, you know, uh, I, I have a strong belief in the energy you give into the universe. Uh, mm -hmm. is what you get back. But uh, um, um. You know, I just, it's like you got to treat it like a job, but a lot of sacrifice, dog. It takes a lot of sacrifice. You know, we all have kids. We all have families. Mm -hmm. We all, you know, want to live luxurious. We all, you know, you Absolutely. know, you know what I mean? So for me, man, you know, my passion to uh, just be in the business kind of supersede anything, which could be a gift and a curse. But at the same time, uh, that's how I survive because, you know, I'm going to make it happen. If, 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 you know, government ain't give me no stimulus check, <laughs> I'm, still, I'm, still, I'm still selling CDs. You Absolutely. Know? Yeah, I'm still selling CDs at, you know, uh, uh, out the trunk. You know, I got, you know, you know, I mean, you know, I, and I still sell, you know, merchandise. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. Know, simply yeah. because, you know, sometimes you got to eat and you got to, you know, I do shows. I, you know, I get booked on my shows, stuff like that. But at the yeah, same man. time, you got to know how to survive and be a, you know, be a hustler. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, so, 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 uh, so, man, I, you know, far as artist wise, man, I just keep good relationships. Okay. You know, I try, you know, meet new people, yeah. build new relationships. Uh, try not to burn no bridges. Absolutely, you know, that's a very important thing. Uh, yeah, but he, you know, these well, young guys, yeah, they they quick to, uh, you know, get in battles, you know, with people and, and burn bridges that. You know, that's what I see a lot with the young guys who, you know, hotheads. But, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, to me, you know, you know you've know, done it the right way, man. Uh, but how how yeah. does the, the streets not get you, man? Like, like the streets well, don't get you. Well, you know, man, like I say, man, my, my energy and my name, uh -huh. it's, a lot of, it's a lot of positive around it. Absolutely. You know, I could tell. Yeah, it's a lot of positivity around it. And so, you know, by me having that positivity, man, you know, uh, you know, yeah. um, it, 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 it's easy to move places by myself. Mm -hmm. Over, even though, you know, some, you know, I shouldn't and, you know, anybody can get, you know, killed or popped or whatever. You yeah. know, I know as long as I move with good intention, yeah, positive vibes. I really don't have too much to worry about, you know what I'm saying? But at yeah. the same time, move with caution. I move carefully, you know. I, you know, I try not to, you know, move stupid. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, I I know exactly what you're saying, man. Yeah, and, and so, I've, so, so, I've seen it, I've seen it firsthand, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because there's a lot of evil out there, man. Yes, it you is, know? bro. You know, you can fight evil with evil, but when you do that, you're going to lose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. And, and evil and stupid people don't mix. You know what I'm saying? You got to be, you got to have a level head in this thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so, you know, uh, you know, I just try to be positive, man. Yeah. So let me, uh, so let's uh, talk about uh, SPM and, and what, was it what was it that that made you two click? Because uh, it seemed to me like you two had a really close bond, and 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 you know, I I don't really know that relationship, that story, but but uh, that's something that I wanted to I want I've been wanting to ask you about. Well, first off, salute to Carlos Coy. I actually talked to him today on the phone. You oh, know, man. we'll be doing yeah. some things. Uh, in the future, um, so basically, Carlos Coy, man, my homeboy a Adrian Savoy, aka Agent Hook, Agent he, uh, oh, was yeah. that Hook? You know Hook? Yeah, 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 I know Hook. Okay, yeah, so you Agent, introduced me. Agent Hook would come mm -hmm. around when I first got out of jail, mm -hmm. and he always be like, "You heard of South Park Mexico? You heard of South Park Mexico?" I'd be like. No, I ain't heard no softball mess. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you yeah. know, what I mean? Get yeah. out of here, play that, blah, blah, blah. And so one day, 
like he did with Lil Troy. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, you know, cause I didn't have a car at the time. He took me to Lil Troy's. He took me to uh, SPM. But the SPM thing, he picked me up unexpectedly. He just picked me up out the blue. Okay. You know, and uh, he said, let's take a ride. And so I said, all right, no, let's go. Yeah. And he took me that. He took me to Carlos's trailer. And uh, when he took me to the trailer, you know, me and Carlos, you know, we 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 rap for about a, I don't know, we just rap for like. <laughs> and I was freestyling, and uh, he was he was right. He was kicking his written. Okay. And we, was, we were just going at it, you know. It's almost kind of like a battle. He described it in with Devil Strike as a. Uh, he thought he saw the devil. I, I, I thought that. <laughs> I thought that was kind of offensive, you know. But yeah, I, I, yeah. I thought, okay, man. <laughs> I guess I guess that's cool, you know. I guess he's, I'm not fucking this this son of a gun. But long story short, uh-huh. uh, uh, you know, uh, uh. He, um, you know, you know, I think if I'd have met him through anybody other than Hook, mm-hmm. I don't think that we would have had the bond that we had. Okay. And so ever since after that day, you know, that was it, man. It was, you know, I, 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 I stuck with him. I stuck with him like tight. Absolutely. You know, we stayed, stayed working. Uh, you know, uh, of course he was my good friend, mm-hmm. you know, but, uh, but, uh, you know, I wasn't trying to be his friend. He was trying to, you know, make something happen. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely. You know? So, so, uh, that's a part of how our relationship, uh, sustained okay. as long as it did, because I wasn't there trying to hang out and have fun. I was, you know, handling business, you right. know? Right, right, right. You know what I mean? So, 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 so let me ask you this, cause, uh, I, I've always felt like like you uh, were very underrated, bro. And that's just uh, man to man. Uh, I feel like Major Riley was underrated as well. Uh, and I'm I'm thinking it it had. I'm, I'm I want to get your opinion, uh, but but my thoughts is being like the only black rapper on a Hispanic label. Uh, do you feel like that held you back or do you feel like, you know, you are going to be you regardless? Well, the thing is, uh, I'm not going to put it on, uh, I'm not going to put it too much on, um, the Hispanic label and Mm -hmm. so on. Even though that's a strong factor, Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to put it more on, uh, being educated in the marketing and strategies of you know having artists and right. so i feel like you know even though you know i was you know talented artists yeah. i feel like we didn't always take the right measures yep. and the right uh promotional avenues in order to get the full impact of who i was and right. what i could do Absolutely. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, people always have their theories like, oh, they always going to put the artist first. But of course, the main artist is going to be first. You know, the same goes that uh, success don't come in, come in masses, you know, which is, you know, which is a true statement to a certain extent, I sure. guess, you know, I mean, you know, but everybody, you know, allowed their success and, you know, you yeah. know, you know get their money, you know what I'm saying? But it said don't come in masses. In other words, you know, everybody not gonna win the same. Mm-hmm. So, you know, uh so 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 uh I, you know I've always had my focus, you know what I'm saying? Always, you know, been who I was and did my thing. But yep. I that particular particular position I learned to kind of play my part. Mm-hmm. And uh and so like I said, it wasn't so much as uh, you know, being Latin on on that label because you know, Texas, you're gonna make your money regardless. Mm-hmm. I just felt like, you know, well, even though I was on the label, maybe I should have been marketing, you know, a few different cities and Little, stuff, you know, different diff- places. Differently, I think. Yeah, 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 th- yeah, yeah, absolutely. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But you know, at the end of the day, you know, you have, you know, uh, you know, absolutely. Mexicans, Latins, Puerto Ricans all over the country. You know yeah, I mean? absolutely. And and so, and I feel like like you handled it better than any other brother on uh that label would have because you were all like you learned Spanish. I don't know if you knew Spanish before you uh hooked up with SPM, 
but you darn sure knew it when I met you and you were rapping it in your songs to a certain extent the way it was like felt like you were very fluent in it you know right. so you, well, you well, took it well, there well, well, well what happened was before I met SBM I was doing time in the county okay. and uh, the boss man was doing count time and so he said hey uh uh, Jonas here, uh, w- Williams here, uh, 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 uh Perez, Aki Metal Boss. So when I heard the message say, "What he say?" I said, "I said, I said, what did he just say?" Aki Metal Boss. I said, "Man, I need to learn that." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so and this is before SPM. This is wow. this is before I think double SPM. So okay. you know, I think it might have been Dustin Avid, but point is, I'm not fluent in the Spanish, but I, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. You know, I'm pretty good, but I'm better at writing it, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know, yeah. better at writing it. And, uh, you know, uh, being misunderstood. And mm-hmm. it's even, even now to this day, you know, people like, okay, well, you know, damn, he a black guy. He hang out with the Mexicans. He rap in Spanish. Yeah. What the f- what, what is he trying to do? <laughs> well, well, I just want to be different. Yeah. And sometimes People don't like different. They don't understand right. it. They don't you know understand it. Mm-hmm. They, yeah, they don't understand it. So, 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 uh, you know, a part of the thing that not worrying about being underrated is also the issue of, you know, being misunderstood. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, good music yeah. is good music. And so it's going to always come through. Absolutely. Yeah, well, well, for those that still buy my music and, you know, still streaming me and stuff, I mean, you know, hey, that I, I I I'm good, but at the end of the day, you know, we still working to grow. Yeah, you know, in, in a new era. You right. know what I mean? Right. You know? So after uh, Carlos, after SPM uh, went to prison, uh, and I, I, it's been a while, so I think he should be coming. But after he went to prison, how did that change your mindset or or your hustle? Because now you you don't have the the head of the snake anymore so now it's like you've got to figure it out so how did how did it change your mindset or your hustle or or did it oh uh, what well, definitely changed the hustle uh, of course it changed the mindset the mindset changing every day but uh but yeah right. your number one guy goes to prison for mm-hmm. uh you know uh a a, a very uh a, 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 you know a uh, bad charge a charge nobody wants you know uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. uh but 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 at the same time there's still a lot of controversy and a lot of hype behind it mm-hmm. so therefore you know all we had to do was get on our hustle and not to bring other people in the picture because right. you know get off the subject but right. as you see bash blew up Yep. Lucky went and blew up. Yep. Gotti yep. went and blew up. Yep. You know, Carolyn went and blew up. You yep. know what I mean? You know, mm-hmm. you, you know. So, so like them, you know, I, I, I just applied my hustle, applied my pressure. But, you know, I, of course, I kept my my loyalty and a lot of my uh, credibility to mm-hmm. the dope house. Absolutely. So, so, you know, so even though I was doing my own thing and not technically signed with the label anymore, because you, which I've been, you know, we've been, the contract's been up, but we're still a family. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, we're a family. So with that being said, you know, uh, uh, when when he went to jail, I just went to work. And, I, you know, I, I've been started 21st century, but I actually made it a real thing, yeah. you know. Uh, around 2008, 2009. Okay. After putting out a few mixtapes and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. You know, out at the Dope House still, you know, working on, you know, working on stuff, trying to, you know, make stuff happen, you know, hope in hopes that Carlos is going to get out, mm-hmm. you know, you know, which didn't happen. So uh, I just started putting out a bunch of stuff on my own. I started 21st Century Entertainment, man. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, you know, like I say, most people still won't give me my recognition from being with the dope house, but mm-hmm. that's that but that's my my entity. That's my baby, 21st yeah. century BNT right and, now. Yeah, and you've been doing 21st century uh, a lot longer than you were actually signed to the dope house. So uh well, not as a business, but as a branding. As a branding because 
because okay, so so I got with Dope House like in ninety five, ninety six. Okay. So so twenty first century was just a thing that I will always use. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? But it wasn't a business. I didn't make it a business until, you know, later on, you know, later on right. down the line. But, right. but, but yeah, it was something that 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 I would implement into my life mm-hmm. uh way before I met uh SPM. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. student writing in prison and stuff like that. Yeah, 21st century was always a thing I was fascinated with. Yeah. And now here we are, we are live here in the 21st century. You no. Know? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, buddy. So let me ask you this. Uh so you were signed with uh Lil Troy or or you you with Lil Troy in ninety three? Yeah, man. Something yeah, happened met- to something happened yeah. to that. So right. and you you went over to Carlos because nothing was happening, I guess. Well, I'm not gonna say I went because nothing was happening. I mean, you know, uh but Troy, he really wasn't doing too much with me though. I mean, basically, yeah, I mean, call the spade a spade. Yeah, Troy, he wasn't really doing too much with me. So he was working a lot with a, a group called Mass 187 out of okay. Kansas. I, I remember them. Yeah, shouts out to those guys. Mm-hmm. And uh 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 um, you know, they they were cool. And so yeah, he wasn't uh, you know, doing too much with me. So, you know, yeah, I, I was hanging. He wasn't doing nothing with me, to be honest with you. So yeah, I started hanging out with SPM and you okay. know, and, you so, know. So when 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 wanna be a baller blew up like it did uh how how did that impact you how did that make you feel did it did it were you happy for troy or or was it like anything else um because i know you guys had already had uh power moves and and maybe even high so high by the time that came out huh and so you guys were doing your own thing but want to be a baller blew up so huge Okay, so what happened was, <laughs> what happened was, uh, I don't remember if Want to Be a Baller was out or not yet. Okay. But little Troy called me. Okay. He said, Rashid, hey, what's up, Troy? I want you to rap on a song with me. And so, I don't think Want to Be a Baller was out yet. It might have been on the radio. I don't want to say it was, bro. Mm-hmm. But, uh, uh, he said, "Yeah, I want you to rap on the song with me." I said, "I was in the back of my mind. I was like, still Troy can't rap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do a song with you, man. man. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, yep. this is reality, right? Right. So, uh, 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 um, Lord, then he mentioned the Botany Boys is gonna be on it." So when you mentioned the Botany Boys, I said, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll do it. The Botany Boys going to be on it. Fuck yeah. it, let's do it. Yeah. And so I did it. I did it. Uh, six months later, I'm with Los receiving uh, awards from the Houston Press in the yeah. limo. I remember. Lil Troy called me mm-hmm. while we in the limo. Mm-hmm. He said, Rashid. Why don't you come to the Roxy and pick up your platinum plaque? I said, what? <laughs> I had to play. <laughs> oh, I was so goddamn happy. So, 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 so when Troy did want to be a baller, uh-huh. he, me being on the album yeah. with the Botany Boys on a song called Chop, 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 mm-hmm. I was able to receive a platinum plaque. Wow. First time in my life. You know, yeah, because yeah. he because he in that song went platinum and it had nothing to do with the song I was on, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So, exactly. You know. Wow. Yeah. yeah I, I didn't know that either, man. You, I've been with you for a, a lot of different times. I don't think I've ever seen that platinum plaque, man. Well you uh, got it. The, the Tony Tony Rex got it. I don't know if you know Tony Rex. He uh I've he, heard of him. He's he's one of my main producers, okay. my good friend. Yeah. Uh I, I I ain't gonna say I gifted it to him, but you know, I let him hold on to it for his studio, you know for what sure. I mean? For so, sure. So, uh he I, I just seen it recently. He has it. But you know, I'm thinking about order ordering a couple of them because my son has a studio himself. 
Mm-hmm. And I want him, I would like for him to have one, you know, uh Absolutely. you know, so yeah, but they're around, they're nothing to order, but you know, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I I I don't know how much paperwork is as far as the song goes. If I call Universal and say, Hey, I'm on the song, they're probably like, Well, who the hell are you? <laughs> I am uh originally, uh, I mean officially on yeah. the album I'm gonna be a ball of track yeah. number five called uh Chop Chop Chop. chop, chop. Yeah, yes, yeah. Okay, uh so that that's some awesome stuff, man. I, I hadn't heard that in, in a minute. Um, so low G, man, you're uh your wet black homie, man. Uh how did that relationship uh transpire? Well, you know, Low G had been friends with Carlos, uh uh like I think, you know, before uh you know, before the uh Dope House got started or something. I, I don't I don't know uh something like that. So he was always around, but me and Low G being you know uh co co uh co-workers, I'm just gonna use that word for now, mm-hmm. co-workers on a label, mm-hmm. uh we just you know got along a lot. I mean, you know, you know what I mean? You know, yeah. we, we hung out a little bit here and there, but we you know we was just kind of a lot alike. And mm-hmm. so uh so with that being said, uh, uh, we we was on a lot of songs together, which of course people know Merry Go Round is one of them. Yep. You know, uh, uh, oh shit, Merry Go Round, um, the Lone Star Rider soundtrack. Like we on a lot of songs. So one day we just decided to uh do an album called Wet Black. Yeah. Which was uh which was was technically uh his uh old uh affiliation. And I decided to make it into the to the rap thing, you know. So I said, man, we need to make this into some music, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so but like, it was already homeboy as far as you know, working and doing business and stuff like that. But yeah. the wet black came because I decided to take his street affiliation and mm-hmm. turn it into a music thing. Okay. So, well, that that's was, how that came about, but we, we was just tight buddies all the time, you know. That's that's one of the coldest uh, names that y'all could have came out with, man. I mean, wet black. It, 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 I loved it, and and the streets loved it, bro. That, that yeah, was, the, yeah, yeah. The streets, the streets did kind of love it, man. They mm-hmm. they, they did kind of love it, dog. They showed a lot of love to it, man. You know, so you know. Uh, you know, and we still trying to, you know, work on the part two of the album. You know what okay. I mean? Okay. Like a little, little pressure here and there, but we you know we getting it. You know. Okay. So let me get. So yeah, the time is running out. So let me get. Uh, what what you got going on right now, man? What, right what now, I'm just uh taking some time off. My son had a birthday. His birthday was yesterday. He was born on the twenty first, twenty first century. That's uh, what's up. I, I took him out uh today to mm-hmm. have. Right now, I'm just taking a little. Chill pill, uh, not doing much, just working on the computer. Then I'll right. be with my daughter. I'm usually with my daughter two times out the week, uh, you know, right now because she lives in a different city. And uh, and then when, you know, Friday and Saturday come around, you know, I'm back on the road, you know, yeah. back. You know? What do you, what do you, what's your, uh, what's your go to on the road, man? Where, where, where are they clamoring for Rashid, man? Well, uh, honestly, I, I, I'd be a, a narcissist to say that they were clamoring. For the <laughs> well, you didn't say, say it; clamoring. I said it, man. Yeah, yeah, they're clamoring anywhere, but uh, but uh, my next show was in Colorado. Okay, so that's where I'm headed. I'm headed to Greeley, Colorado. For any of your listeners that you know might be in the area, you for know, so I, I heard of Greeley, man. Yeah, yeah, Greeley, Colorado, man. So. Yeah. So I remember your son and your daughter, man, when they was like ten or something, man. They some they some grown adults now, huh? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, my son, he's an artist. He has his own studio. Uh, uh, so. my daughter, she has her own business. She does like uh, uh, parties and stuff like that. So they doing good. But my son, you know, he he produces. He make beats. He probably record seventy seven sixty five to seventy percent of my stuff. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 So. Okay. So let, let me give you uh let me give you uh the floor. Give me a uh a final thought, man, on uh the rap game and and, and how hustling can sustain a, a long career, man. Well, you know, basically, if you're gonna be in the 
Actors, aka the rap gang, you have mm. to have a hustle because a lot of the stuff that you see that's major and mainstream is all set up. It's all you know. It's all set up to uh you know for for the way that they want it. So they can't they can't control you know you and what you do on the streets. Mm. You know till you sign that paper or you sign that deal or what have you. Yep. So, so my, my, my advice is, or what I'm saying is, Hey man, you know, uh, if, if you want to live your dreams, don't, 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 don't expect the majors to make it happen for you. You know what I'm saying? You, you yeah. got to kind of happen for yourself. Absolutely. You know? so, so, Absolutely. So, 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 you know, so yeah, that's all, you know, pretty much the advice yeah. I, on that. That's great advice, bro. Uh, one more question, man, real quick. If you can do it in about 60 seconds, a minute and a half. So what, You've been in this game about 30 years, bro. Just, you know. So what's uh what's the difference, man, between uh the nineties and now the twenty twenties where it's technology and stuff? Like is it easier? Is it harder? Talk to me about uh, that. Uh, uh, well, definitely uh I'm definitely gonna say easier. Okay. Uh but but you have to you have to have the knowledge. You have to educate yourself. It's easier. Mm -hmm. You have to educate yourself and have the knowledge. And uh, you know, yeah, basically it is easier. But on another note, you know what I'm saying, you know, the dinosaur hustle never gonna go away. Right, right. That 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 that, that, that the uh, dinosaur hustle never gonna go away. It's a bigger right. bag with the with the new wave, uh -huh. bigger, a bigger, quicker bag. But yeah. the dinosaur bag is going was going to give you the longevity. So is there not is there not street teams anymore? Yeah, there are. So that's <laughs> never going to the street team is telling. Yeah. Look, look, the majors don't play. The majors got a machine. Let's think of let's think of a funnel. Uh -huh. The majors got a funnel this big. Yeah. They already when when they got a project dropping, uh -huh. that street team already know where to go. That stream already know where to go. For us independents. Our funnel was like this small. Oh wow! And then you got some guys. I'm just you know being real. They got a funnel that small. But by me being an established artist, yeah, you know it's not it's not that small. It got a little bit of. You know, I see. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So hey, so we'll do part two, man. Let's just do part two. If you got more questions and you want to talk some more, yeah, let's see how the people respond to this one, and we'll do part two, bro. We'll do that. Hey, I appreciate you coming on with me, bro. It was good catching. I love that shirt, man. And that's uh, Low G's brand. Hustle, hustle Town, guys. That's, that's Low G's brand. Okay. All right. Love it, man. I love you. Hey, uh, so I'll get... Do uh, you have any uh, social media info you can drop for me real quick? Let them know what's up. Insta Instagram, Rashid, 21st Century. Facebook, Alfonso Cook. My YouTube, 21st Century Dynasty TV. Uh, Twitter, Rashid713. Uh, uh, my TikTok, Dope House OG. Already. And I'll put all of that. He'll send it to me. I'll put all that in the uh, description below. Hey, appreciate you, Rashid. Hey, all right, Einstein. One